Feeling good, I hope. Okay, feet apart, roll those shoulders up and back and down a couple times. Take a deep breath, inhale here. Exhale out, again. Let's walk around the neighborhood after this. One more time. All right, chest openness, arms forward, open to the right, left. Lifting the opposite heel, pivoting your hips. We're going to take it to a squat, down for two. Down two, reach those arms forward, pull it back, weight on your heels. Squeeze in between the shoulder blades. That's it. Ready? Singles right here. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. That would be nice. Side lunge to the right, two, switch. Again. Dynamic stretch for your inner thighs. All right, hold it center, slide back down, row it up, lengthening your spine. Last one. Bring the feet hip distance. Set back, repeat. And now reach the arms up. Left side. Run the arms to start. Let's reach it up. You know the drill. Right leg back, slow it down. Lean to the left. Center, yes. Reach. Couple more times. Lengthening the hip flexor, your lats on the right side. And switch left. Breathe. Couple more. All right, hip hinge sequence. Hinging forward from your hips, keeping your back flat. You want to feel a slight stretch in your hamstrings, yes? You can reach a little further if it feels comfortable for you. Four more to go. Key is to keep the back super flat. We're going to get ready for our walk out. So we start with that hip hinge. You're going to walk into a plank. Here we go. Right arm reach. Now left. Right leg lift. Squeeze your glutes. Left side. Walk your hands back to the feet. Do it again. Reach right and left. Lift the right leg. Now left. Walk your hands back to the feet. Two more times. Great exercise for warming up the whole body here. Getting that core stability. Walking back. One more time. Reach right and left. Lift right. Now left. Walk your hands back to the feet. Roll it up. Deep breath. And exhale. Shake it out. That's our warm up. We're going to start with big muscle group work. You'll get your heaviest set of weight or medium, medium to heavy. You can always take it slightly easier on the first set. And then bump up the weight as we go. So we're going to rack the weight right in front, just over the shoulder. You'll be squatting and you're going to pivot and rotate. See how everything is in one line? Yeah. And then we're going to squat and rotate to the left side. Core is tight. Get ready, let's go. Down, two, up, and rotate. Make sure you pivot 
your hip, your knee, and your toes. That's it. We're going to singles. Down, up. Sit into your hips, your heels. Down, up. Yes. Seven. Six, five, just two more, good work, set those weights down, now grab one lighter weight, one lighter weight, we're going to work on a balance exercise, standing on, one leg balancing, weight is in front of your chest, you can open up the right arm, bring it center, switch the weight to the left arm. Ready? Let's give it a try. Key is to keep the arm as straight as you can. If you need to bend your elbows, go for it, or slightly less of a challenge. Core is tight. Yeah. Sit into that hip. That will also help your balance. We're going to switch legs. Left side first now. Hover that right foot, right knee in the air. Keep your shoulders relaxed. So, no shoulder earrings. One more time. Aren't you glad you picked the lightweight? Good job. Okay, back to your heavier set of weights. I'm going to bump up two pounds on the second set. Starting slow. Here we go. Down, two, up, push. Everything rotate, core is tight, back is neutral. We're going to singles. Down, up, breathe. Like you're powering the weight up. Eight to go. Come on. Hands up to the sky. Yes. Woo. Shoulders on fire. Heart rate is up. Okay. Standing on your right leg. Let's go. Open up. Switch. If the weight ever becomes too much, either lower the weight or you can just use your arms, yeah? Nice work. Switch side, left side first. Let's shoulders down and away from your ears. Two more each side. I'm sweating already. <laughs> Last one. Good job. Ooh, give it a shake out. We got one more set. Last set, best set. You ready? Squat down for two. Sit an inch lower, can you? Yes, you can. Singles.
Come on. Last eight. Punch it up. Great job. Okay, how them shoulders. Okay, standing on that right leg. We got a little extra break. We should be able to power through this one, yeah? Find your balance. Right arm open. Remember the weight goes with the moving arm. Sometimes your body might trick you. And wanna just bring the arm out instead of the arm with the weight. Two more, each side, on this leg. Are you still keeping your abs tight? Sitting into your glutes. We switch to your left side. Woo. The double left, who's challenging. Slow and control. Just two more. Remember, weight's always optional. Just the balancing alone is very challenging. Last one. Yes, we did it. Go ahead and give your shoulders a stretch. How are you guys doing? Good morning, Annie. Thanks for joining me Saturday morning. I know it's a change in your schedule. Appreciate you guys accommodating. Okay, next up, warrior lat pull, plank jack push-ups. So grab your band. So upper body, you put tension in the band, you can pull it down and squeeze it between your shoulder blades. So your elbows bent. Lower body, you open up that right hip, turn the toe to the side, but hips, shoulders square to the front. Left leg straight ahead, sit into a right angle on that right knee. Let's go. Pull it down. Yes, sink into the hips even more. Now try not to come all the way up unless you have to. Try to stay down there. Yeah. And you can always grab more band or less band to adjust the resistance. More to go. Are you sitting into that right butt cheek? You should feel it in the upper and lower body. Last one, we go transition. Left side. Sit into that left hip. Right toe pointing forward. Sitting into that isometric hold. Four more. Next time we're gonna play with the rhythm a little bit more. But this set, just focus on getting that alignment. Last time. Good job. Okay. Plank jack push-ups. So two jacks, one push-up. I'm gonna show you all the options. Option one, jack two times, one push up. Option two, tap out, tap out, push up. Option three, on your knees, tap, tap, and push up. Yeah? So you choose, mix it up if you need to. So get into that plank position. Think about which option you're gonna start with. Here we go, two jacks. Yes. Another option. Yeah. 
Third option on the knees. Now you choose. Two more. Good work. How many push-ups did we do, Dave? Twelve? Really? That's good. I thought we only did like eight or ten. Okay, open that right hip, sit into that knee. Grab that tension. Let's go. Down, two, up, two. Yes. Chest is proud, head in line with the spine. Give me a triple pause. Three, two, one. Yes. Woo. Come on. That's it. And switch side. Two. Sitting into that left hip. So your lower body is in an isometric hold. Bending that left knee. Triple pulse. Three, two, one. Can you sit a little lower? If you're not feeling it in that left butt cheek, you gotta sit lower. One more. Yes. Get back into your plank position. Make sure if you're doing them on your knees, have a mat or something to cushion it, yeah? I'm gonna give you a side profile. Here we go. Jack, jack, push up. You know the option. Two more. Last time. Good. Woo. Did you count this time, Dave? Ten. That was ten. They said he wants to do twelve in the last set. So you can blame him. Okay. You get everything lined up. So again, you're not turning the body to the side. Square up to the front. Opening that right hip. If that's uncomfortable, you can also do a side lunge, yeah? Let's go. Make sure you got enough tension in that band to make a difference, yeah? Triple pulse. Three, two, one. Feel your back muscles engage. Feel that amazing posture. Last time here, quick transition to the left side, down two. Do you feel yourself sinking down lower once you switch? Triple pulse, three, two, one. So make that sure that chest is open, shoulders pull down and back. Last time. Beautiful job. Woo! It's great to open the chest before we have to do that push-ups again, huh? Okay. Remember, you got all the options. Here we go. Tap, tap, push-up, or on your toes. That's four. Keep your hips super stable if you're doing the jump one.
Vertigo. Two more. Last time. Yes. Woo. Okay. Great work. Get a quick drink of water. Tell me how you're doing. Is your heart rate up? Shoulders are feeling it. Oh, look, we match today. What are the chances? We did not plan. Okay. You still grabbing that band? We're going to repeat the exercise I think we did two weeks ago. I think Anne really likes that one. So, tension in the band. You're lunging back. You come up to balance. Hold the band apart. You can also tap the toe, but keep the weight in the standing leg. Are you ready? Let's go. Lunge back. Come on up. Hold the band apart. And slowly release. Take your time there. A little quicker now. Yeah. We are at home, so that's all good. Four to go. I'm going to give you a side profile. Everything in one straight line. Last time. Shake out that upper body. <sighs> We're going to go to your left side now. Core engage. Strong focus. Let's go back. Back. Two. This takes control, yes. Focus. Ready? Pick it up. Down. Up. Pull apart. Are you keeping your arms straight? At shoulder height. Four to go. Remember, you can easily adjust the resistance in the band by pulling more or less of it. Last time. Beautiful job. Woo. Okay, you're going to lie down with your dumbbells for tricep extension with hip bridge. Okay. I like to use my 10 pounds for this one, but it's a difficult exercise, so you choose what weight works for you. And the hip bridge is optional. So, your feet are hip distance apart. Do not wish to lift your hips back, back up, okay, weights right above your shoulders, lift your hips, let's bring it back to KT, yes, do not crush your skull, bring the dumbbells to either side of your head, super close, but don't hit it, singles, down, up. They said too fast. Let's slow it down. Three, two, one. Up. If you're using a super heavy weight, yeah, maybe that's too fast. Okay, good job. And you can always slow down. The music makes it fun to sync up with, but if you want to do it faster, slower, it's up to you. 
but you do need to maintain proper form. Okay, get ready. Right leg goes back. Let's go back. Two, up, two, pull it apart. When you pull it apart, the band is at your upper chest, yes? Tempo. See, I decided to wrap the band around my hand a little bit, so it's not a lot dangling. Do the same if that annoyed you. Four to go. out. Woo. Okay, we'll wait for the top of the face. Left side getting ready. Here we go. Slow. Pull it apart. Yes. When you pull it apart, I want you to expand that chest. Tempo. Remember your option is to touch the toe down while still maintaining the weight in that right leg, yeah? Four to go. And if you want more challenge, can you lift your knees higher? Good. Last time. Woo! Back to the hip bridge, triceps. Are you get down? Are you down there? Again, weights right over your shoulders and your chest. Lift the hips up if you wish. Back for two. As you extend, really focus on school the back of the upper arm as well as your butt cheek we're gonna play with the rhythm again since they complained we're going down quick up slow here we go down quick slowly up again Down slow, up quick. Three, two, one, up. Two more times. Woo, burning. Great job. See, we're adaptable. <laughs> Last set, best set. Ready, Freddy? Okay, right leg goes back, arms reach up. Stable like a statue. Now quicker. Go. All my queens, any kings out there? Ah, shake it out. Long break, right? Don't say I never do anything nice for you. 
left leg goes back. Singles. Are you dropping it low by bending that front knee, sitting into that front butt cheek? We're never fighting alone. Popping champagnes after this sounds good to me. Woo, I've lost balance just by talking about it. <laughs> that champagne popping made me tipsy. Okay, last set of tricep. Same as last time. Are you ready, Dave? It takes Dave forever to even get the weights up there. Back for two. Check your elbows for me, will ya? Make sure they're pointing straight up and straight forward. Not out to the side. We want to pop champagne, not the elbows. Give me down quick, up slow. Maybe I should have done the two and two longer. I think I missed it. What do we do now? Huh? They said two by two. I think we still have down quick, up slow. Down quick, up slow. Shake it. Last time. Yes, come on up. Woo. Okay, you can keep the mat there still. Get a quick drink of water if you need and grab your band. How did you do with that last round? <laughs> Genies, mine is on mimosas. Okay, we're going to work our butts, legs, and biceps. Stepping on the band, even tension on both sides. You can also use dumbbells, of course. If you don't use dumbbells and you have those mini bands, you can put it around your thighs. What you do is you step out in two bicep, step in, go up the other side, all right? Get ready. Here we go. Out, two bicep, and in, left side, bicep, in, out, bicep, bicep, and in, out, bicep, bicep, and in. How big of a step can you take? Weigh this in the center though. You step out, sink into the center. Good. Yes. Always keeping some tension in the band, even in between. That will help you burn it up. Two more each side. Your knees are in lines with the toes. Woo! Did you feel those? I sure did. Okay, now it's a core and a exercise. We're gonna do a renegade row. What you do? You don't have a dumbbell on one side. The other hand is going to be on the ground, yeah? 
you in the plank, feet as wider than hip distance. You're going to be rolling up very gently, set the weight down each time. We're going to be switching side later. You can be on your knees as well, of course. Let's go. Barely putting that weight down. Two more. Good job. Switching the weight to the other side. Get set. Pull. Drive the elbows up as high as you can. Two more. Good. Remember, you can do them on your knees as well. If that was too much. The goal is to be able to control that row. Stepping on the band again. You know what's up already. Remember to Keep tension in the band, step right, right, two, in, left, two, yeah, like a sumo wrestler, uh. good, how big can you step out, Woo. How many more days? He said two more each side. Last time. How that feel? All right, get down there. Your plank. If you want to do them on your knees, same thing, right? Get set. Let's go. Almost like holding it up there for a second before you gently push it down. Two more. Good. We're gonna switch side. Make sure your hands are directly under your shoulder. Soft elbows. Let's go. So hold slowly down. Yes. Abs are tight. Two more. Good work. I don't know if you feel, feel your obliques actually working to resist the rotation of the body. Last set, best set. Get ready. Right side. Side. Are you squatting? You're not just stepping out, you're squatting too, yeah? Keeping tension in the biceps, in between. Two more each side. Yeah. Up and hold. Pulse. Pulse surprise. Sit. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
Surprise on that one is better than a surprise on this one. So, no surprises here. Just do the best. Okay. Are you set? How are your arms? Are they still there? Get ready here. Let's go. Up and down. Feel your left oblique. Kick in. Two more. Good job. Remember to breathe through. Sometimes when it's hard, we may end up holding our breaths, right? Ready. Let's go. Breathe. Breathe. Yes. Two more. Good work. Okay. Water. Wave off your sweat. I got sweat. Core is coming up. If you have a mini band, put it around your thighs. Hope and Rosie, you like the surprise. Now, again, if you have one of these bands, put it around your thighs. If you don't, no worries. You can still do the same exercise, it's still effective. You are in a side plank position on your knees. Your lower body, you're doing a clam shell, right? So the feet stay together as the thighs open. I want you to open it as much as you can to engage your gluteus medius so a little higher than the regular butt cheek yeah? come up to a side plank ready so dip it down slightly and open 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 remember the goal is to use the outside of the top butt cheek to open as much as you can. And if the band is too much, you can always take it off next time. Woo! Good job. You feel it, Dave? My band is all folded. It's annoying. Oh well. Ready? Let's go. Again, the lower body. I mean, the bottom side, stay super still. Open that top leg. Eight, seven, six, three, four. Oh my God, this doesn't want to open anymore, that clam. Great job. You can keep the band on or take it off. You choose. Now grab a medium, medium dumbbell. You'll be sitting into a B sit. So you're sitting, knees are bent, the legs together like there's magnets in between the legs chest is proud shoulders down you have the option to lift the legs into a balance 
But let's start with the rotation. Here we go, place the waist side to side. Leaning back, keep your chest proud. Almost touching down the weight slightly, if you want. Lift the legs, still keeping your chest proud. One long line in your spine. Good job. Woo. Back to that side plank clamshell. If you have the band already ready to go, perfect. If not, you can also do it with Dao. Here we go. Open. Now, if you don't have a band, you should be open those legs even more right you should be able to give an even bigger range of motion so again the feet are connected only the top knee is moving on the top thigh good job switch that It's great for knee and hip stability. Of course, good for your butt and your core too. Here we go. Open. Think about touching the knee to the sky. Good job. Did you also put in the bottom butt? The bottom side is also working, right? Not just the moving side. Back to the V. Let's go. Side to side. You can also do a bit of a figure eight motion, almost like you're paddling side to side. Knees up if you like. Squeeze the legs together. Remember the magnets. Good job. Woo. The band. I gotta finish with the band. I cheated, sort of, last set. I wouldn't call it cheating. That was an option. Huh? The band looks good. Your band accessory. Ready, last set. Here we go. Keep that bottom hip up. Come on. Now I feel like eating linguine with clams. With the champagne. That sounds good. Did we finish? Oh, good. If I talk about food and drinks, I forget that I'm working so hard. Are you ready? Here we go. Clam chowder. Uh-oh. We may get kicked off. But we're almost done, so that's good. Eight to go. Keep opening. Oh my goodness. Woo. Good job. Okay. Ready? Sitting in that V. 
Let's get it done. Chest up. Pull that string above your head. So almost like paddling and paddling with your chest up. Pick up the feet if you like. Give me four, three, two. We did it. Amazing job. You can get out of that band. Playing it off like dirty underwear. It doesn't even. <laughs> Way to go. Sharon feels the burn. Awesome. Time to stretch out. The red banner is up. So in case I get kicked off, finish stretching. But hopefully, we have enough time to finish our stretch. Let's see. Dave should not skip stretching. It's a bad example. Where did my set list go? Okay, we're going to do ocean because I can't find my... Well, let's do a calming one. Whew. Maybe we won't get kicked off if it's just ocean waves. It can't be copyrighted, right? <laughs> okay, on your back. Extend your arms overhead, take a deep breath in. And slowly exhale out. One more time, inhale, reach. And slowly exhale. Go ahead and bend your knees. Arms are out by your chest. Roll the knees to one side. Feel the stretch in your lower back. Go ahead and grab that top leg. And bring it back center over to the other side. And grab that top leg. You can close your eyes. Just picture the ocean, you're lying and stretching on the beach. And bring it back center. Extend your right leg up. Hamstring stretch. Take a deep breath. On the exhalation, see if you can bring it an inch closer. Try to synchronize your breathing with the waves. Go and cross your ankle to the opposite thigh. Reach through the thighs, pull it. Left leg is up. Feel the stretch in your hamstring once again. Take a deep breath. And slowly exhale out. Left ankle to right thigh. Through the thighs, pull it in. Beautiful job. and release it. Roll onto your side. We will stretch out our quads. Grab that top foot, bring the heel back towards the glutes. 
Press the hip forward. Oh my quads. And Now release, bring it up onto your hands and knees. Belly button towards the spine, round that back. Push the ground away from you. And then release and extend, lift your chest. One more time, round the back. And extend, lift the chest. Knees apart, feet towards each other. Sit all the way back into child pose. Reach your right arm across the body. Push the hip towards the right hip, I mean right heel. Feel the stretch in your lats on the right side. Go ahead and switch. And release, throw it up. Nice work, staying on your knees. Right arm across the body, shoulders down and away from your ears. Reaching behind you, stretching your steps. And switch side, left arm across. <sighs> and bring it behind you. Wow, that was a big wave. And release, throw your shoulders up and back and down. I need you to open up that chest. Arms behind you, lift the chest, pull the shoulders down and back. Beautiful job. Come on. Right leg behind the left, reach your right up and over, stretching the outside of that right hip and thighs. In left leg, cross behind, left arm reach. And release, show breath in. Reach it up, lengthen side to side. Beautiful job, everyone. Thank you so much again.